Well, we know this is everything they've worked toward. Greg, the adjustments in the offseason have really paid off. And it's a well-run organization. Pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum is so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. So that's a wrap for the first game of the NBA Finals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Los Angeles. Well, they have seized home Go. court. They orchestrated the upset in game one. No. The driver's seat in this series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. That concludes game two of the NBA Finals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this. for some traction in the series. Their home court advantage is lost. At this point, they just need a win. <laughs>
Yeah, how about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboard right now? Some hard-earned second chance for him. Second chance effort in deep. Davis drops it in. Davis using that athleticism to battle it out on the glass. From in that tight, hard to stop AD. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, Steve Clifford had a few minutes to share with me. I asked him what more he could say to his team at this point. He told me it was easy to come up with a pregame speech. Everyone expects those guys to close us out now, he said. The pressure is transferred over to them to meet those expectations. They want us to play fast and loose tonight. Not worrying about mistakes as much as just trying to get our groove back. We'll see if that strategy helps them get back and avoid the final sweep, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks, David. Davis' is anticipation and timing. So good at the defensive end. This guy is a shot blocking machine. James outside. That's the three fly. Benton with the rebound. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And the shot goes down. You know, the defense has to be better. I mean, you can't give up that look. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of five shooting the ball so far. James sets the screen for Russell, kicks it to James. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. A shot, no good. And Charlotte will come the other way. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. And it's Davis with the ball for Los Angeles. They lead by four. They want that intensity to carry over from that victory on Friday. Yeah, and in that one, they caused a lot of misfires with their intensity on the defensive end. And the hustle they showed on that end. First quarter, about three minutes played. Williams kicks to Grant. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That is his first foul of the game. Noel, well, he's checked in for Russell. The Lakers on D. Grant for three. Here's Robinson. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Outstanding start from three-point range. Their shooters are on fire. It really makes them a hard team to guard because they space you out so well. Now, here's Grant. No good. Big D that time from James. A three ball. That's in there. Davis with the assist. And that's 15 points for B. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowed. Barnes against Johnson. Barnes passes to Banton. Lock at six. Barnes can't get it to go. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling, and he still misses. Boy, he wishes he had that one back. How about the last five made shots have all been three? The defense is just giving up a lot. Most teams get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide open looks at the three-point shot, but it seems like they have just not figured it out. Now, how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Davis with a screen on Grant. And James throws it down. 
Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard, and they are landing some haymakers now. Here's Benton after the basket by Los Angeles. There's a screen by Robinson. Grant outside. Beyond the arc. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers sitting with the And we welcome you back to game four on 2K Sports. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. Scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep. Putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. But how about their scoring in transition as well? That's been a big factor to this point. Are those high tops or track shoes these guys are wearing? My goodness. We've got Russell, Okoro out there with T.J. Warren, then it's Collins, and it's James in at the two. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. Now here's Barnes. He is still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Grant. Offensive rebound. Ward. Lays it up Ward. off the glass. It's never easy trying to keep him off the glass. He's an absolute beast down there. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Hey, Kevin. B in that last game against the Hornets was phenomenal. Picked up 58 points, and he got those points as he always does. Knocking down shots from beyond the arc. It's rare to see any player put up numbers like that. It's likely a game he'll always remember. Kevin? Thank you, David. You're right. He was a one-man wrecking crew in that one. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same attitude tonight. Yeah, you know, every night's different. They may try to double him. It might force him to adjust or force him to make plays with the pass instead. We'll see. Los Angeles leading by 12. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Here's Russell with the three. And here's James outside. And it's good. That bucket takes him to nine for 14. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. To the paint. Here's Grant. And the dunk by Grant. Strong move to the 10. Trying to get it. to end the quarter and they've done a phenomenal job down low so many of their points coming right at Let's the rim the we'll get right half. back to the action when we return And we thank you for joining this postseason broadcast, and it's been an outstanding first half for the Los Angeles Lakers. They're raining threes. I'm telling you, and the defense forgot to check the weather report. Somebody get them an umbrella and a poncho. The only thing they're getting is an earful from the coach. And looking at where the Hornets stand in the series. Guys, if you had to come up with one word to describe their situation in this series, what would it be? Question for the panel. Is long shot one word or two? Yes. It's not looking good. Well, I think it's long hyphen shot. So, let's pretend it's one word. Well, Cancun, that's the word that they should be thinking about. <laughs> well played. Well played. We'll see how they do. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. And 
it's time for more of the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. What a time of year. It's been a clinic out there by James. Yeah, he's just been raining down on them from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, you know, the stroke looks fantastic. Even when he's had a hand in his face, it hasn't affected him at all. Tipping off the second half, here's Steve Clifford's five. Ward out there with Scotty Bone. Then it's Sabonis, and it's Brian in at the two guard. Here's Brian. Rebound the Lakers. Davis has got rebound number eight now on the night. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. Hornets trail by 16. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. This is it to Sabonis. Takes a three. Hits it from three-point range. You've got to at least honor the three-point shot from Sabonis. He's capable of knocking it down from there. James outside. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. 30 points for B. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. Barnes kicks to Sabonis. The pass to Bryan. Barnes outside. Tries it from nine. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. James, the pass to Davis. And finished off by Davis. So smooth, so fluid, effortless, yet powerful. When Davis gets positioning like that, he's trying to dunk it. And it's Barnes with the ball for the Charlotte Hornets. It's an 18-point game. Pass to Sabonis. Back to Barnes. And the dunk by Barnes. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And guys, I like the fact that he chose the one hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. And here is Barnes after the three-pointer from James. Tries from 10, and he hits the jump shot. Barnes has got his second bucket. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. James looking around. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a Lakers shoot their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Who's making a change here? Johnson's checked in. And a switcher also for Charlotte. Chris Boucher's checked in for war. Hornets trail by 19. Barnes kicks to Boucher. Out to the wing. Nine feet out. And he can't bank that one in. Los Angeles has gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. That bucket in in no time at all. And that's now 37 points for B. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. You know, that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Okay, two hands for safety. That's, that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. And he should be, I mean... Remove all doubt. Get it down, hard, and simple. And so it's Charlotte with it, following the three from James. Pass to Sabonis. One thirty-one left in the third quarter. Well, you look at Sabonis, and he clearly is one of the best passing big men in the game because he sees the floor so well. Lakers leading by 20. And they double up James. The feed to Russell. On the wing, Johnson. From deep, James. And the Lakers hit again from deep. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball move. Charlotte calls timeout. Sabonis. Shot 
from the inbound. Rebounded by the Lakers. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. Hornets have gone 5 of 9 on field goal attempts since halftime. Kicks it to Barnes. Hurdle against Robinson. Passes to Banton. Here's Boucher. And the dunk by Boucher. Whoa, that'll wake you up. He is such a great athlete. No question about it. He's very comfortable in the air. Dunks like that, no problem for him. Now here's James. He has 45 points. Here's Brian. It's hauled in by Warren. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. From deep, James, good on the triple. James has got 48. And perimeter score key. I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. And and there have been two very checked in and, and James subbed in for Warren They've got Collins, and it's Lowry in at the four slot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Down low, here's Boucher, and the dunk by Boucher. Beautiful reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. Outstanding awareness and a terrific finish. And there's a whistle that goes on Scotty Barnes. That'll be his second foul of the game. Second you know what? You've got to always be in control of your emotions. Great frustration right there. And I agree with you. Self-control of your emotions, a must-have if you're going to play winning basketball. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Well, you know, that's the way it's going to be for them today, fellas. Can't sustain any momentum. That was the second look at our Mobile One Drive. Amazing control on display. And a drive like that one can be a knockout punch. Great finish at this juncture. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. From T, James Boucher with the rebound. Charlotte's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. And there's the pass to steal. And that one is stuffed right through. And that's why you don't let him get positioned deep in the post. Exactly. I mean, once he's got the ball in that area, the battle's already lost. Lowry setting the pick for James. And they double up James. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. And it's Davis with the jam. Well, I tell you what, it's rare that you see a big man with offensive skills like Davis has. He is a talented, rare player. Here's Barnes. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Barnes has got 14 points here in the second half. And wow, that's the end of an epic journey taken by both these teams in unbelievable fashion. Get the NBA title rings ready, folks, for the Lakers. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And they're going to win the title in the most emphatic way possible with a clean sweep in the finals. And guys, once they got them down 3-0, it could taste that championship. There just was no way 
They were letting them off the hook. They came out with a little something extra and just made sure that we were going to see a trophy presentation here today. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for B. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. Bucket is good. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. Here are the Lakers with the ball. James outside. And he comes up with the deuce. James has got 54 points. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. Over in the corner, Barnes. Knocks down the three ball. You can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. Yeah, you know, I agree with you. They waited too long to finally ramp themselves up. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Now here's James. Shot clock at five. Launches a three. That shot misses. And that's it, folks. The Los Angeles Lakers have won it all. Wow. All the travel, all the practices, all the meetings, all the games, wins and losses, the emotion, the exhaustion culminating into tonight. And whenever you win the NBA championship, there is a level of accomplishment and excitement that really can't be matched. But pretty amazing to have accomplished this goal. The celebration is here, and this place is going crazy. The bench loves it. The fans obviously overjoyed. This is one of those moments these players will never forget. Let's go to the floor. Here is Adam Silver presenting the Larry O'Brien Trophy. Congratulations to the whole organization and, of course, this incredible team. This Larry O'Brien trophy and I believe this suitcase are yours. You're Bill Russell, Finals MVP. An awesome moment for him in front of his fans. You love to see hard work rewarded. And that is the ultimate validation. Well, you folks have been with us every step of the way. From all of us at 2K Sports, thanks for watching. We'll see you next season.